Okay, quest, 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 contract. Mysterious glow. Yep, I'll do it. So we are currently in a really good spot. We also have a ton of good armor. Um, I skipped a little bit because, well, I'll be honest, I had a little hard time getting things rolling. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a hard time getting things rolling. So, um, you know, I kept on playing kind of on my own. Man, I was, I've been kind of addicted to the game. That also being said, um, I just because I've been addicted, I've been wanting to play a lot, so kind of panned out. I also got a little, I am getting a little bit bored of this specific build, so I will be excited to play the next build. Um, the next thing I want to do is hopefully, if I can, go out and uh, uh, do dual wield maces. Okay, we should be here. Nice. So this is a three star thing. Which is concerning because uh, three star um, is dangerous. It's dangerous. Also, I got the shield by digging up graves. So it actually wouldn't be a bad idea to dig up graves. That being said, I think this this can get find a shovel here too. Maybe, maybe no, maybe not. <laughs> maybe yes, maybe no. Oh, there's the entrance. That's weird. Okay, also, uh, if I got here at nighttime, there would be ghouls here. The low, the low tier leveled ghouls are not a problem. Like the ones I would find here, not a problem. But if you find a ghoul den, let me tell you, do not go to a ghoul den. <laughs> do not go to a ghoul den. Ghoul den will mess you up. Um, that being said, I almost feel like I could kind of deal with a ghoul den right now. Um, not, not entirely sure, but I kind of feel like I could. Also, what's my shield at right now? Um, I'm good. Whoops. Oh, that's really awkward. Do this. Hey, don't don't be walking away from me. There you go. I don't want to fight that guy just yet because that guy's actually going to be a little bit problematic because um, he's an, he's arranged. So if I can, what I'll do is I'll try to get really close to him first, like this, which is perfect because now he wants to, he wants to fluff. He wants to dance, you know, now that he wants to dance, now we can do all the, uh, all the things. There you go. Perfect. You can prepare for, you can prepare, prepare for a dungeon or a boss. If you just right click them and say like, Hey. What does this guy do? Like this guy has stuff, right? He has armor durability. He has um, bleed, pain resist. He has, you know, poison resist, nature resist, physical resist. I mean, he has all these things. What is his ability though? Um, abdominal vitality. Tis but a flesh wound. Upon receiving a killing blow, the restless has 75% chance to avoid death. Fully replenishing his health while losing its mostly injured part. Oh, okay. That's uh, that's what a normal zombie has. So we're totally chill on that. I do want this guy to get close, which is why I walk towards him. But I'm gonna do this first and then take a step back so we can smack him. Basically have the most chance of bashing his brains out. Yeah, there you go. He just lost most of his limbs, which is, like I said, pretty typical for what happens. Also, our chest piece is our lowest um, protection now. We have 10 on our gloves, boots, uh, we have 10 on our hat, so 7 on our chest it does mean it's the lowest. I'm going to go and sit for a second. We have a lot of health, though, so I'm not really that concerned. 101. We actually lost a little bit from uh, grabbing all the things I grabbed. That guy's not cool. I'm glad, though. I'm glad the animals, the creatures, saw me first. Because that guy, I mean, it could be, it could be challenging to... Uh, oops. It could be challenging to fight him. Okay, there you go. Uh, it could be challenging to fight two of them at once. Hopefully one of them, only one of them sees me. There you go. Oh, no, they both saw me. Okay, that's fine. Not the end of the world. What I can do actually is I can actually get to like about right here. Actually, I will get to right here. And then when they get close, I'll actually shout at them. So that hopefully only one guy comes at me and the other guy does it. So I shout at them like that. And now... Oh, there you go. Now I can hit this guy. And, he, and even so, I can still move back and he has a really good chance of um, coming at me. There you go. I'm going to move forward one. 
There you go. That was actually really good. Hit with that five. There you go. Hit with that two. Hit with that six. And we do have some pretty hefty armor, so you know, uh, the heftier armor we have, the harder it is for us to to stay to stay chilling. You know. Okay. Well, there we go. That wasn't too bad at all. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm not too concerned about um, my health being like slightly damaged. So let's just keep on, keep on rolling. That's unfortunate. Hopefully I can get to him. This is gonna be problematic. This will be problem problematic. I'm gonna shout so that hopefully I can delay these other guys turns. There you go. Uh, let's let's shield bash this guy so we can push him away, and then we'll actually reposition as well. Just because if I reposition like this, then I can use my five on these guys and my two. There you go. So it makes it a little bit safer for me, which is really really good. I do want it to be a lot safer. I'm gonna go and shout again. Give myself hopefully a little bit of time to. Uh, not have to deal with two enemies at once ideally that i don't want to deal with two enemies at once and it also gives me time to replenish my shield a little bit and any abilities that i have let him walk away there you go there you go not too bad definitely not great that was unideal so uh we'll see Let's see, is there another enemy is the question. There's another enemy. Shout. Because again, we're just trying to delay them from getting to us. So we have the opportunity to uh, deal all the damage ourselves. That's fine. Even if he, uh, even if he didn't move up, it's fine. Because then it also gives me a chance to get shield back, shield power back. Also, now that he has an enemy behind him, or a teammate, I can do that. Ooh, I didn't know it actually dealt damage to the enemy behind him. That's really cool though. Kind of sucks because I don't have enough stuff to identify all the items that I have unidentified. So in turn, I end up. Just being like, oh well, I don't have this, so I gotta, I gotta chill. Again, we're gonna shout. Right in with that four real quick. There you go. Okay, out of curiosity, I do need to be looking at this because I'll, I need to see, I need to see how it's changing over time. Um, since I don't see how it changes over time enough. Hey, Owenko, how you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Also, you just uh, opened my eyes to something. I need to put the chat a little bit higher. There we go. Now it's in a good spot. Howdy, howdy. Okay, I want this guy hopefully come a little bit closer. There we go. I'll use the ability so I can get more skill here. And good morning as well. Good morning to you. I'm sorry. I kind of just read, read the name and... Um, got distracted in immediately. <laughs> so, so sorry about that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and heal up once there. Okay, that's fine. We'll let him come down to us and we'll do the thing. we we'll do the tang. We'll do the tang and the tang. We don't actually have to go too hard on our abilities right now because um, we do have... We do have a lot of stuff. I don't want to I don't want to get worn out just yet and using all my abilities as much as possible may wear me out The next upgrade I want to get is a sword Because I will be needing a sword. Well forward we go How do you put in How do you? How do Just in case there's a trap there I'm gonna let him come to me <laughs> It literally will just make it a little bit easier for me to uh, let him come to me so hopefully he can um, hit the traps for me. And we did daze him. Honestly, having shield bash is almost the equivalent of having a... 
I'm gonna go take a step back here. Yeah, it's almost the equivalent of having a um, a mighty kick. Howdy. I'm gonna let these enemies come to me. Because again, I just like them coming to me rather than the other way around. Anyway, that four. Take a step back. Hit him with that six. <gasps> yeah, stun him. The stun is so good. The stun is fantastic. Get him with that six again. Bones broken. Better have broken bones. Okay, we're gonna get hungry. That's fine. Get our energy back. We're gonna go and eat up. We do have enough food, so that's really good. Um, one of these helps with fatigue, I think. No. No, it does not help with fatigue. I lied. Let's just not talk about it, okay? I do have a lot of things for food and whatnot, so I'm just not too, too concerned. Like, I'll, I'll let it go down a bit. Um, okay. And again, actually, this guy, this guy we can just fight out here. There's not really a reason to go back, because he'll do what I want him to do. Uh, since he's in a straight line for me and whatnot. Okay, the thing that does suck is that other guy that's coming. There's actually the reason to go back. Okay, now we can step back because just in case. Also, we will need a drink, so good opportunity to drink. There you go. This guy is obviously a little bit, a little bit more um, crazy there. Take a step back. Let him attempt to see my conviction. That's not good. Okay. That guy was definitely a lot scarier. Um, yeah, whenever, whenever they do that, whenever they make you bleed, it's a lot scary. Close the door, please. The door is already open for me. I'm a little bit worried about wraiths, but I do deal enough damage. I don't think wraiths are going to be that big of a deal. So, um, hopefully that's the case. I'm hitting with a four real quick. Alrighty, there you go. Get into place. I can stun you. That's actually hilarious. He used his ability. I'm fatigued. I can't believe I'm fatigued already. Like some of these abilities must really wear me out because my gosh, fatigued already. Sheesh. All right, here we go. Oh, let's see. Do I have anything I need to do? Food, fatigue. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that sucks is my fatigue. We're just going to move up because uh, moving up is going to be the best choice here. We're going to do that though and hit him with the four real quick. There you go. Keep on hitting this guy as he runs away from me. He will most likely get resurrected. So it will be important for me to either stand on his body or stand close to him so I can kill him when he gets resurrected. There you go. Oh, uh, I can go and hit that four again. I don't think I need to. I think I'll just shout. I was hoping he would step up to me. Okay, now I'm gonna hit it with the four. There you go, he's dead. Dagger Treaty. We keep getting the Dagger Treaty. It's actually kind of cool. I mean, like, I'm down. Keep giving me that Dagger Treaty, please. Which is fine by me. So if you look at this ghoul, see how this ghoul um, doesn't have like four or five abilities and it says small ghoul. Keep that in mind. If you ever find a large ghoul, run for your life. <laughs> Um, also, if you have to fight multiple ghouls, that's also problematic. So, uh, oh, what's it called? So keep that in mind as well. And this is definitely the right spot to be fighting this ghoul because I can do this. Yeah, that's definitely the right thing to do. And now you need to make sure you body block. Because um, if you don't body block, uh, what's it called? The other ghoul can actually uh, cause problems for you. This is a great spot to stand. No, there's another ghoul. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's that's problematic. Hit with that four real quick. I'm gonna have to keep this in mind because that other ghoul will try to eat that body, and he'll get um he'll get really strong if he does. So if I if I can, I'm gonna try to bash him away and keep him keep him off that body. There you go. That was important to do. Like I said, that was a uh, that could have been really bad. I'm gonna sit here for a second. 
I'm going to sleep till 7 because I think 7 will completely recover my, yep, fatigue. Any contracts? There's no contracts? Oh my gosh. There's no contracts. Okay. Oh, let's see what the reputation is. Um, do you need help with anything? Infested catacombs. So this is a three, which shouldn't be too, too bad for me. So we will go around and try to do that. Um, wherever it is. That being said, where is it? Oh, it's way up there. And hope that um, I can get it in before then. That's cool. I do want to do a dagger build. Imagine how cool a dagger build would be. Could be. Should be. Okay. Nothing there. Let's not step on that trap, please. Let's not step on that trap, please. I'm glad I looked. That's a little bit unfortunate. I am going to let her come to me because I don't really want to fight multiple at a time. And it looks like I might actually have to. That's not good. I think it can make me... No, okay. It's not going to make me do that. So hopefully she steps on the trap. There we go. Mm. Okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, I don't want to shout, but I think I will. In this case... Just because I want to be careful. Okay. We can end with the... Four real quick. There you go, we got him. The net's actually pretty nice to have. We could we could use that net. No bleed. We also have a pretty good bleed resist now, so I'm actually not too scared of a bleed. Okay, I don't see anything down there, so I'm just gonna just slowly inch my way to the right here. Yeah, hopefully, there you go. I was hoping, hoping I can bait them out. The more enemies I bait out like that, the better off I'll be. Um, he'll probably come around this corner in just a second. Yep. Let's see. What do you got? Chain. Chain strike. 75% damage, 50% daze chance, knockback. That's fine. The big thing is knowing that he can knock me back. Because knowing he can knock me back means I'm not going to stand up against a wall so that he can knock me back. Instead, we're going to hopefully stand over here and uh, make it so that when he comes to attack me, I can knock him back. So it's actually perfect. Because see, so now what I can do is I can shield bash him into the wall. If I had moved him, he would have gotten stunned. Okay, I'm going to go move back now because he'll move up. Of course, now I'm against the wall, but it, he's dead, so... Okay, not gonna go left just yet. I'm gonna go to the right here first. Is that the boss? Sagul, proselyte. Uh, what is this? Okay, what is this? This is a range attack, looks like. Spends 3% health to spit at the target, dealing 13 unholy and 9 poison damage, while also applying it with. Wow, okay. Creates a blood puddle under the target for 3 turns, sending the puddle, a blood, blood puddle. Wow, that is that is a strong attack, okay. And then Blister Burst, spend 6% health to deal 13% unholy and 30% poison damage. Oh my gosh. Creates Blood Puddle for every adjacent tile for 6 turns. Standing in Blood Puddle um, deals 6 unholy damage. Okay, so this is this guy is scary. Because he also has Life Leech and Bloodthirst, which is really scary. Um, if I can, I want to lure them out. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Yep, I knew that was coming. That's why I waited because I knew he would. I knew he would do that. That's unfortunate. I can do this though. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. I can shout at this guy too. Okay, he has one turn away. That's fine. We can actually shield bash him into the wall right now. That's not good. Okay. How much health does he have? 37? I don't know if I can I don't know if I can kill him. He might die here, guys. 
Can I do anything? I can eat that, which is really good. I can take a step back. That doesn't help though. How much health? 10%, fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, okay, everybody fucking hold your breath. Oh, buddy, okay. Okay, this guy looks a little bit spooky. He has a lot of bleed chance. Ooh, he has like, okay, this is interesting. So what does this do? Blood scent, yeah, okay. Each bleeding effect allies and enemies within vision grants 6% damage and counter. Okay, that's not good. Last rate, delivers a strike with 70%, negative 70% damage, but plus 70% bleed chance. Okay. Impaling lunge. Uh, two range, delivers a strike to an adjacent tile and the tile behind it with 40% body part damage. Okay. And this does net throw. Applies a net to the target for six turns. Bloodthirst. Strike with 27% chance. Okay. What I can do is I can actually net him when he nets me. And... Uh, let him hopefully hopefully the plan would be net him and uh, net myself right he nets me i net him blah 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 and uh when that happens ooh, i have a weapon i can throw okay i have an idea he needs to be two tiles away That's fine. Our turn. He's out of range. Okay. That's not what I had in mind. We can actually do this. That's fine. He's going to dash me here in just a second. We'll do this first. Ow. Ow. Okay, hit him with this. He bled me again. This is why all the bleeding stuff is really good. Because he's constantly bleeding me. Jesus, buddy. Are we gonna die to this guy? Holy. It's 27% health. Shield bash him? I have one HP, I'm dead. I literally die. Okay. Well, that's the end of that.